This morning, with your notebooks and with your pens, the topic of the morning is academic excellence through concentration and focus. Academic excellence through concentration and focus. Academic excellence through concentration and focus. And I'm going to read very quickly again from the book of Matthew 6. The book of Matthew 6 and verse 22. It states, Your eye is... A no, let me read from KJV. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of... shall be full of, of light. So what the word of God is telling us this morning, that the body... The light of the body is your eye, literally. What I've picked from that scripture is that if your eye is single, if your eye is focused on one thing, if your eye is focused and concentrated on one thing, then your whole body will have light. You won't have what? Confusion. Praise God. If your eye is single, if your eye is constantly focusing on books, your eye is constantly focusing on education. Your eye is constantly focusing on academics. Then the word of God tells us that your whole body will have light. Talking on focus and concentration. Why is it that many times we are not performing well in our academics? Because our eye may not be single. And I'm going right into the point that I want to talk about. How is our eye not single? Distraction. The distraction of friends, distraction of company, distraction of fashion, distraction of wanting to fit in in, the, in a certain group of fashionable girls in school. Such kind of distraction. Umeshikanisha vitu kama kumi pamoja and you're a student. Is it possible for you to perform well? Is it possible? My friends this side, is it possible? You want to do TikTok and you want to be a slay queen and you want to be everything and you're still a student. What time will you learn makeup? What time will you learn videos for you to be able to do the TikTok? For you to be able to do the YouTube thing and then also study? Is it possible to do all that? The Bible is telling us this morning that if your eye, if your eye, if your eye be single, then your whole body will have what? Will have light. Praise God. Can I hear your amen? amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? That is the word of God that is telling us that this morning, that if your eye be single, then your whole body will have light. Time will come for you to do all those things. Time will come for you to pursue your career. Time will come for you to date. Time will come for you to do everything that you think is important right now, that you think you're failing right now, that you think you're not dressing to your fashion or to your taste, that you think those friends are high and you want to reach them. All that time will come. But the right time right now for your eye to be single is to do what? Is to concentrate on what? Is to concentrate on what? Your academics. Is to concentrate on your studies Concentrate on your academics because that is what is current right now in your life. Praise God. I'll tell you this. There is a time to be born and you are born already because you're alive already and kicking. There is a time to grow up and there is a time that you joined school. I'm already in stage what? Stage three. There is a time to be born. There is a time to grow up. There is a time you joined school. And then there is a time that you will go to campus. And then again, there is a time that now you will be looking for a man to marry you or for a lady to marry. And then there is going to be a time that you will do what? You will want children. And then now you will want to settle and be established in life. Everything in God's time has seasons. Are we together? If you want to write my notes, you can write. My points, you can write. Everything in life has what? has seasons. When you try to do what you should be doing in the next five years, currently, you will fail in what you need to be doing now. Because everything has its own time. And the time that every one of you has now, or the time that you are in now, 
or the season that you are in right now is the season of concentrating in your, in your, praise God. So the season that you are in right now is a season of what? Your studies, your academics, your books is, is the season that you are in right now. The time for you to be born when your mommy conceived you and gave birth to you passed. The time for you to enter school already right now is where you are. And the concentration that you need to give your life right now is the concentration of, of books. So tell me this, what time will you concentrate with making your friends happy? And what time will you concentrate in trying to be fashionable, in trying to do TikTok? TikTok is for those that are looking for money. Are we together? I'm not saying it's bad. I know that's the in thing right now. Is it true, my teens? That's the in thing right now. If you're not in TikTok, you're nowhere. But how are you balancing the TikTok that you have? Aside from mommy taking you to boarding school. How are you balancing the content that you want to um, create for your YouTube? How are you balancing the Instagram page that you want to sell with your fashion and your rushing after you know, girls that are already making it, that are already passed, the age of 18. Those that don't have books to disturb them. Are you going to manage it? Is it possible? The best and the easiest thing for you to do right now is put your eye single. Make your eye single. Praise God. If that is the path that God wants for you, it will not run away. You will still find it at 17. You will still find it after form four. Praise God. But right now, I can assure you, if your eye is not single, then your body will not have light. Success in your academics will be distracted by lack of, of focus. Praise God. Praise God. Can I hear your amen? amen. Can I hear your hallelujah? hallelujah? Can I hear better hallelujah? hallelujah. So what is concentration? In my Oxford Dictionary, concentration told me that concentration is putting one's attention on one thing, either an object or an activity. For my little ones, you're going to get notes typed for you by your teachers maybe tomorrow. Mommy should be able to see what daddy taught you yesterday and what uh, you were taught today. So what is concentration? Concentration is putting one's attention on one thing either an object or an activity. Are we together? So what is focus? Focus is the center of interest or activity. Remember my topic is academic excellence through concentration and focus. Focus is the center of interest or activity. And here our center of interest is education. Here our center of interest is academics. Here our center of interest is books. So if focus is, um, is, is by the Oxford Dictionary is described as the center of interest of activity or a, of, a, of an activity, then it means if you're distracted and you're doing 1,001 things, then your focus is what? Is not directed on your books. Kopamoda, are we together until there? Okay, we go to, for one to perform well academically, they must focus and concentrate on their studies. For you to perform well on your academics, for you to perform exemplary, for you to get that A grade, for you to get that uh, 400 and mark going up, 450 mark, for the candidates, class 8 candidates, you need to concentrate. You need to focus on your books. Any other distraction or any other focus that you give attention to will remove your focus from the books. Let me tell you the truth. For the students that perform well in your school, do you have any? You have any? You have any? I used to have many that used to perform well in my school. And one of the things that those girls, because I was in a, in a girls' school, all from primary school and also into high school. I never went to a mixed school even one day. 
So for those girls that were doing exemplary well and we were looking up to, they were those we call bookworms. Have you ever heard that name? Wale mnaitanga machopi. One character about machopi is that their eye and their focus is on the books until they look out of fashion. Kweli wongo? When you look at them, ah, we now tuni vitabu. We we unajua ku dance, you know. We we uko TikTok. We we uko fashionable. We you know all the hairstyles. But if we put the two of you together, who is in their season? Who is doing the right thing at the right time? Who? Machopi. And that is why we will ever be looking at them and admiring them in the future. God forbid. When they paid off by performing well in their studies. Why? They took one thing at a time. When we were concentrating on entertainment. Did you, do you guys have entertainment on uh, Saturdays? Is it still on Saturday in school? When you're dancing all those creepy uh, songs that they put their secular funny songs. All right? Chopi ako class. Anasome exam ya next week. Wewe unarusha one leg to the right, one leg to the left, then exam kikuja yo itching your head. Chopi ako apa tu anandika tu. Is that what not happens? But your priorities are upside down. Your priorities are mixed up. Your priorities are confused. Amen. Amen. So the outcome of the results right now cannot be the same in the future. Kwa sabi ya nini, you mixed yourself. Put your right hand on your head. Say, oh Lord, help me in my focus and in my concentration. I will prioritize in my season in Jesus' name. The other thing that you should know is this. Teachers will always tell you the truth. You will think they are hating on you. Parents will always tell you the truth. You will think they don't like you. I, Pastor Julie, will always tell you the truth. You will think right now this woman is old. She's old-fashioned. She doesn't know what is the in thing. But I can tell you the truth. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years from now, when you're 33 is when your eyes will open. Say, God forbid. Praise God. You don't want your eyes to open when you've already messed up. When you're looking at all your peers, when you're looking at all your, those that you were in high school, in primary school, and all of them are excelling as doctors, excelling as lawyers, excelling as CEOs, excelling as managers, and you, you're down here trying to scratch the earth. Kuhaso, what people are calling hustling. Why? Because you concentrated in bad company. You concentrated in bad things. You concentrated in a season that was not meant to be your season at that particular time. Say, I hear you, ma. Shika Maskio, say, I hear you, ma. I will not waste time with distractions. Can I hear your amen? I want you to preach the same to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, focus. Mwambie ni kama unataku muuma. Mwambie, focus. I am tole macho. Mwambie, focus. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So two things every pupil and student needs to concentrate on now. Because we are talking about our season now. And remember we've said our season right now is what? Studies. Masomo pekeake. Two things you as Sarah. Two things as Shalom. Two things as uh, uh, Esther. Joy. Two things as all the boys. Asha. Uh, every other boy that is here, you need to concentrate on right now. It is not PS. It's not basketball. It is not a, a what? What is the thing that is going on for boys? TikTok na juasana niya girls. For boys, what is the in thing, my dear? Eh? Adinio? Football. Nice. Okay. And you said what? Computer, PC, oh, okay, I get you now. So two things that you need to concentrate on right now for you to be someone in the future. Number one is God. Number one, you need God and God and God only. Praise God. For you to be someone tomorrow without God, 
you are going to be useless. If right now you mix yourself in alcoholism, you mix yourself in gayism, you mix yourself in a lesbianism, you mix yourself in drug addiction, you will miss out on God. And without God, your tomorrow is not promised. Let me see someone who wants to become something tomorrow lift their hand. Very high. And I want to pick one person in the middle with a kapapol over there. Let me just hear what you want to become. Stand up and talk to me. Yes. What do you want to become tomorrow? Loudly. An architecture. Isn't that something admirable? Like now we are looking for an architecture to tell us how to build a hundred thousand seater here. Probably he's the one going to draw it for us. True or false? But what happens if he will be distracted today? By what? By friends. By TikTok. By fashion. By anambuawewe kama ukunyui. You're down. Uko down. We kama una madem ka tano. Uko down. Isn't that what mnaambiangwa? Kuadom. Alafu unanza kuthihakiwa. You know, the way they tell you your kaholi jo. Is that not me? Those are old names, I know, right? Are they? Are they old names? Yeah? Yeah! So you're trying to say I'm old. Let me come closer so that you see my age. Eh? Listen, those things that they tell you that you're off balance, you're off fashion, all those things are meant to distract your... your... If someone is telling you to have five girlfriends right now, are you going to marry them, my guy? Are you going to marry any one of them? How old are you? He's 18. Are you planning to marry in 18 or maybe next year? So what are you doing with three girlfriends that wanna kuskumililia? He's a good boy. He doesn't have any girlfriend. Okay? Now that they are telling you that fashion is having boys. Okay? Now that they are telling you the fashion, eh, uh, shalom. Those your names are nice and they are so shalom, shama, you know. So shalom. They are telling you that the fashion right now is for you to have boyfriends, okay? And it's for you to, you know, dress up and know in a funny way. Like this one is a top nowadays. Is it true? See, this one is a top. And others are reaching even here. See, that's the fashion that is going on. I know I'm talking to people who know what I'm saying. Okay? So that is the fashion right now. If you lose out on God now, what will happen to your tomorrow? What will happen to your tomorrow? You will be all alone. You will be all alone. Completely. And without God, without God, you are nothing. Without God, you are lost. Without God, your future is not promising. And I want to uphold your parents for pushing you to come here today. Because I know you're going back to school from Monday. Being that you've been raised in a Christian family is a good example for you to emulate in your, in your future. Praise God. Praise God. Can I hear your bigger amen? amen? So one of the things that you need to concentrate on is God and nothing but and God. Join CU. Join YCS. Let them look at you and think you're stupid right now. But the decision you're making in right now, those that are not making that decision now will envy you tomorrow. I want you to tap your chest and say they will envy me tomorrow. When you'll be meeting them driving big major cars, when you'll be meeting them in your office sitting up and they're coming to ask for work, that time they'll be envying you. But right now they are looking down on you. Which one would you choose? The future or the current? The future. The future that's the thing. And without God, you're not promised of your, of your future at all. The second thing that you need as in your season right now, the season of academics is you need books. You need your books. I keep on telling my children, any book that you want, now I am ready to buy it more than any other thing. What you need to concentrate on is which encyclopedia is making it, which book is making it, which notebook is uh, the best to accommodate my notes and all that. One thing you need right now is, I started with, and then, books. Run after your teachers. Make groups in your school that will be able to give you a certain level of concentration. 
Meet up with the Alma Chopi. Let them know, tell you what they understand. Let your concentration be only God. When you wake up in the morning, pray. When you're in the middle of the day, pray. Take your Bible at least a day and read a chapter. Okay? That is your schedule. Should be your schedule. And then book, 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 book. Run after teachers asking questions where you do not understand. Right now it might look out of fashion. But I can promise you that is what will make your name tomorrow in the future. Say, I hear you, ma. Loud most say, I hear you, ma. Okay, so every other thing apart from God and books is a distraction. Get it from me today. And we said we don't need distractions. Any other thing that is removing your focus right now on God and on books is a distraction. Can I hear? I hear. Can I hear? I hear you. So what are the three benefits of focus? I'll do two. Then I round up uh, down here. Three benefits of focus. Benefit number one is anyone that focuses on their academics now is securing their safe tomorrow. What is the benefit of focus? What is the benefit of focusing on your academics now? Focusing on God now. Focusing on books now. What is the benefit? Benefit number one is anyone that focuses on their academics now is securing their safe tomorrow. I gave you that example and it's very clear that walem naita machopi, the ones that you think are bookworms, all right? Those ones that you think are all the time in the books, follow them keenly into the future. God forbid if you don't follow their steps. Follow them into, the, into their future. And one of the things is their concentration on their studies now. One of the things that it will give them is a secure tomorrow. This one I will tell you for free. And I want you to go ask your mommy back home or your daddy back home. Ask them, daddy, what is your regret? One of the regrets that you have when you were in school. Most of them will tell you, I wish I listened to my teachers. I wish I listened to my parents. I wish I listened to what we were being told, that we should concentrate on studies. Praise God. That shall not be you in the future in Jesus' name. Amen. I said that shall not be you in the future in Jesus' name. Amen. As you purpose to focus on your academics, your future shall be safe in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are the people we'll be looking for as lawyers. Say amen. amen. As doctors, say amen. amen. As architects, say amen. amen. As great CEOs, say amen. amen. As bishops and as pastors, say amen. amen. Your future shall not be vagabound in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can I hear your believers? Amen. amen. Number two benefit of focus and concentration now on God and on your books. Number two is great world career opportunities are open and available for the learned. Great world career opportunities are open and available for the learned. Many major opportunities in the United Nations, in the, all the UNs that we admire, the great, great openings, World Vision, World Bank, and all those great opportunities, they are open for those that have masters, PhD and going up. Clear your throat? Just clear your throat? Did you hear what I said? Masters and what? Masters and what? Anyone who knows how long it takes for you to do a degree? How long? Four years. How long does it take you to do a complete a master's? How many more years on top of four? Two more years. For you to be able to do what? Attain a master's. And for you to get a PhD, how long does it take you? How long does it take you? It takes you how long? That one even me, I don't know. Someone who can get it for me? How long it takes one to attain a PhD is not two years of study. But who can reject a doctor with her PhD in gynecologist? Where will you knock to look for a job and you don't get? In all the high institutions in the world. Where? Show me where. Nowhere. But where we to Amjengo, 
makanga, biashara ndogo ndogo, you will have to hustle your way your way your way up. Why? Because you missed it down here. You missed it where? Your mommy gave birth to you. Your mommy was so kind to you to take you to school and does pay school fees. But now the rest is up to you. For you to study and to concentrate on God and to choose the right things right now. So if you don't make that right choice right now, it will reflect Kesho. 10 years, 20 years from now. Say God forbid. God forbid. But I want you people to be people that you will be sought after. People that companies will be looking for your name. That when you're through with your PhD, they will be running after you. When you're through with your masters, they'll be running after you. And instead of them quoting salary, you're the one quoting salary. Can you clear your voice? That's the thing. Praise God. You'll be sitting round table and they're asking you for wisdom. Because you're wise. And because you're what? You're learned. Number two, benefit. I said is what? Can I hear it if you wrote it? And available for the learned. Praise God. That is the benefit number two. Benefit number three and last is focus brings success. Focus brings success. And I will go back to my scripture. When the body has light and when your eye is single, all that is talking about focus. Focus brings success. Because per time, like now, if I'm concentrating on this microphone, look at me. Faces up. If I'm concentrating on this microphone and I want to clean it up, it has small, small holes. Is that true? If I'm only concentrating on this mic and no one is talking to me on the side or on the left and I'm not do cleaning the flower or taking the basket, if my only concentration is the mic, what will happen? I will be able to finish cleaning it even in 10 minutes. Is that true? But if I'm cleaning the mic, all these small, small holes, probably they are dirty, and I'm cleaning the flower halfway, and I'm running and taking the phone, and I'm wiping my shoes, what am I doing? I'm distracted. So if my major focus was the mic, then that means what? The microphone will remain untackled well. Are we together? So anyone that gives focus to education and God right now, is given to success. Focus leads to focus leads to success. focus leads to success. and the opposite is true. If you're not focused, it will lead to it will lead to that shall not be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. amen. Three very quickly tips to improve your focus. I've told you about focus and concentration. I've told you about the body needs light and your eye needs to be single. Okay, ma, how do I get the focus? What are the tips for me to be focused? Because some of you come with prayer points to us and you ask us, um, I try to study, I am not concentrating. I try to do this, I am not concentrating. Today I'll give you three tips. And the first tip is be prayerful. Pray for your studies. Pray for your work with God. And then number three, you can pray for mom. You can pray for your loved ones. Did I give you a schedule there? You must be what? Prayerful. Because the devil knows that your future is, is, is great and bright. I love this guy. He's thinking big. Okay? Your future is big. So what he will do, he will bring distractions. Distractions of what we talked about in the beginning. Distraction of fashion. Distraction of TikTok. Distraction of YouTube. Distraction of content creation. Distraction of friends. Distraction of lesbianism, gayism. Distraction of masturbation now. And then distract you from God and... And... What are the two things I told you you should concentrate on now? You've forgotten. Focus, and, uh, focus on God and... So the devil knows and will do that. And how does he attack you? He attacks you in the dream of the night. Brings you funny dreams. You see yourself sleeping with someone you don't know. You see yourself as someone, as daddy was saying yesterday, laying hands on your head. You go to uncle and uncle is doing funny, funny things on your head. 
Someone is giving you money, money, money. In exchange, they are exchanging your star. Are you getting it? So without prayer, your lack of focus right now could be demonic. Say, I hear you. Your lack of focus could be demonic. So if without prayer and without God, do you think you'll manage it? Do you think you'll manage out of it? Do you think you'll manage out of the distractions? Not at all. So the first tip to getting or to being focused is you must have a relationship, conscious relationship with God. What is not in the word of God, don't do. What you are not taught in Sound of Abundance Church, do not do. Anything that you know is sin, do not indulge yourself in it. Yes, secular music, listening to secular music and them showing you how to shake it is not godly. It is not fun. Anything that is not of God, they tell you that, oh, eh, we need to do, there's this group called the high class guys. When you go there, the high class guys are what? Are gays. Those beautiful girls that you're seeing in school and you're admiring, when you peep into their clique, they are lesbians. And then they tell you, you know, you can ease your desires. We'll talk about that in the afternoon. By masturbation, you indulge yourself in things that will affect your tomorrow. And those are the things that bring what? Distraction. Praise God. One hand on your head, say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Help me again. Every distraction that has bound me. Father, deliver me. Father, deliver me today. In Jesus' name. The Lord shall help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Tip number two. Three tips to improve on your focus. Is number two. Identify your distractions and avoid them at all costs. Avoid them at all costs. If they will cost you your friends, if they will cost you your name in school, if they will cost you anything, avoid, identify your distractions and avoid them. Did you hear that? What is your distraction? What is that thing that distracts you from God? Remember our focus is God and books. Praise God. What is that thing that distracts you from God and books? Identify it, number one, and then avoid it at all costs. Anything that will cost you God now, will cost you God, books today, will cost you your future tomorrow. So the advice that I'm giving you is as tip number two is anyone that, um, sorry, identify your distractions and avoid them. Is that easy to do? Can I hear your yes? If your answer is no, and sincerely you know you're bound somewhere in some of those things I've stated as distractions, you can see me, you can see Pastor Des, you can see Daddy. We'll be able to help you by prayer get out of them. I got a question once as an inbox. Someone asked me on Facebook, they asked me, is it possible to come out of masturbation? Is it possible? We'll be answering those questions in the afternoon. Yes, it is possible. Is it possible to live a uh, sexual, sexually pure? It is possible. Praise God. So if you're feeling that your distraction is a bondage, we can help you out of it secretly, privately, and then we will help your future tomorrow in Jesus' name. Say, I hear you, ma. I hear you, ma. Number three tip to improve on your focus is have a guiding study schedule or timetable. It will assist you in no time wasting. I repeat it. Have a guiding study schedule or timetable. It will assist in no time wasting. Have a guiding study schedule or timetable. It will assist in no time wasting. Look for your class teacher. In time for your preps, when you go home, tell mommy to help you with a timetable. Tell daddy to help you with a daily schedule.
probably see your teacher, those that are going back to high school, boarding school, see your teacher. Tell them, teacher, I want to be focused. Yeah? Kwanza, you'll get, get their attention. And then tell them, I know I have a timetable between 8 and between 5 when the classes, normal classes end. Then tell them from there, help me with a timetable. A timetable that will keep me focused on God and keep me focused on what? On books. They will definitely help you. If you need your mom or your dad to help you with that timetable before you go to school, make sure you do it and they will help you. So what does the timetable and the schedule help you in? It helps you consume your time. It helps you in no time. It helps you in no time. Praise God. And that shall not, shall not be your portion. You will not waste time in Jesus' mighty name. Maybe I give you a bonus, a last one. The last one is uh, tips to improve on your focus. Number one, I said... Have a yeah, brief prayerful, have a relationship with God. Number two. Wow, I love this side. Okay, number two, we said what? Identify and avoid them at all costs. Number three, we said have a guiding study schedule or timetable. It will assist in no time. Okay, the bonus one is number four. Train your brain to focus. Train your brain to focus. Train your brain to focus. How do you train your brain to focus? And one of the things that is killing focus right now is phones. Phones have become very destructive to focus. You see the way you're touching, touching your phones and it's fast. Are we together? The way you touch, touch your phones and it's fast. You want everything in life to be that fast. That's why, quote unquote, this generation you're being called the microwave generation. Have you heard that word? Somewhere. Because you want everything on a, you just back on. They're even lying to you nowadays that there are going to be uh, robots that will be cleaning you. Cleaning your kitchen, cleaning your clothes, cleaning your body. Are they lying to you that way? Because everything right now, you people want it in a snap of a finger. You want it fast. And with books, there is no shortcut. You have to sit down and read. Is it? Yes. So train your, your, your brain to focus. And how do you train your brain to focus? Number one, avoid being too much on the phones. Avoid being too much on, on phones. On the whatever you're doing, is it games? Avoid being too much on TikTok. Avoid seeing those things that I'm lying to you. And again, what is the opposite? Read more books. Read storybooks. Read novels. Godly, you know, Christian-like novels. Like novels that will be able to teach your brain to study and the concentration of touching our books. Nowadays, the things have so much gone ahead that all those books have become digital. It's good. But at the end of the day, the old will never go out of fashion. The one of doing what? The one of holding kitabu kitabu. Praise God. Jigsaw puzzles. Do you know them? Filling the jigsaw puzzles. Crosswords. All those things are things that will train your brain to become more and more focused. Praise God. Did you hear something? Did you hear something? Thank you.